I've always had quite a passion for geography. It was something that I was really interested in when I was at school. The physical geography course was highly appraised. I was just blown away by what it offered. Just try to make it very, very broad, like a geography degree should be. They obtain skills across a wide range of different areas of application. You get to look at like local factors as well as very different landscapes such as in the Alps. This is a whole town national park in Austria and it's in the Eastern Alps. We come here a lot because of the glaciers and the rivers and the forests and the vegetation and the wildlife. It's a great place to study because you've got so much geography squeezed into such a small location. From a classroom perspective, a lecturing perspective, yes, the students can learn the theory and they can learn the basic principles. They only really make full sense when they apply them in a natural system such as this. Absolutely take your breath away and it means you can do some really, really interesting geography in the field. We've had four days all doing different types so it sort of suits everybody. Doing some optical surveying, um, some tree coring and then today we're doing kick samples and macroinvertebrate sampling. It encourages them to think about how science is done practically. When you actually see it in action, it makes so much more sense. They're learning skills in the field, they're collecting data themselves, they're analysing it back in the lab and writing it up as reports and presentations. Just being able to do the work in this sort of environment that we're in is just fantastic. It's always something new to learn and something exciting to learn about. Apart from the academic challenges of the field trip, there are a number of physical challenges. You come up almost 2,300 metres in one day and it's, it's very exhausting. I don't know, I was expecting like a nice inclining hill, but no, it's, it's scrambling. You're basically walking down boulders on a cliff face to get down to a, a braided river, which is worth it. Quite hard work, it's tiring, um, but I do enjoy it. By the end of the week, they're effectively running up the hill and keeping up with us. The School of Geography in Leeds is world leading and there's a strong element of research-led teaching in all of that. There's a number of members of staff that have used this field trip as an opportunity to revisit a field site. They're the people doing the research, publishing the papers, writing the books, so students are getting that information, that experience direct first-hand. It's really good for the students to feel as though they're, they're taking part in the research process. Students really get to think about the big questions. We really have to be at the forefront of not just what is scientifically on, but also what students are expecting. Partly about coming here and learning the skills, and it's also about developing as a person. This is where students really begin to shine. We often see students grow and develop. Your work improves throughout the week because you get to know each other. It's something you can all bond over. Everyone's very friendly. This week, I've made so many new friends. I feel a lot more confident, a lot more confident. Lecturers are all really helpful and you get to work with them. You hear they're a bit more chilled out and laid back. It's really nice to sort of have that bond with your lecturer and just we have a laugh over beers in the pub at the end of the night. It's good fun. Leeds is such a, like, a vibrant uni. I've really enjoyed my time there, met some great people. We're training up here to be incredibly worldly people. You all pick geography because you enjoy these sort of environments. It's going trips like this, which is pretty unreal. It's something that they will remember for the rest of their lives. Seeing and remembering and doing and understanding, it's really what the fieldwork's really all about.